guys, what's going on? It's Toadie So from Toadie So Gaming, and today we have the first installment of what I would like to call the Gamma MC Skyblock Farms tutorials, I guess. So, a lot of these are going to be farms for the server that I play on a bunch called Gamma MC, and they have Skyblock, and I'd like to show you how to do some of the farms that I use every day. So, here we go. This is the first installment of Blaze Farms. Okay, guys, so the Gamma MC server is based off of these blaze spawners to make a blaze farm so you get a blaze spawner because the nether resets every day at one o'clock est and it basically resets the nether and you can pick up these nifty little blaze spawners with silk touch so if you come across a person with the gamma rank like i do we can slash enchant for you and you can for sure get your silk touch Woo. okay so this is what they are based off of, these little guys right here, these spawners. And now, the first thing we're going to go over is this tubing that we use. Now, this tube is a 3x3 three three tube, 9 blocks in the area, and basically blazes spawn outside of it. We want all of our blazes to spawn on the inside. Now, for the second one, these still, even though this is a wider area, it still has enough room for blazes to spawn on the outside. It's not as frequent as that one, but it still happens. Now, in this one over here, blazes will always spawn on the inside. Now, keep in mind, you want to keep killing them because they will glitch out of it in the Gamma MC server, in your little capture area. So, in this area, we can fit one blaze spawner in the middle because we have three blocks above, four blocks even, so we could fit one more and then we have four blocks below, so we could have just three chilling in here. But for this purpose, we're only going to have one. Now, let's move on to the actual farm we have here. As you can see, it is a fairly compact farm. It's, it's a decent size, and it'll only take you about 45 minutes to build if you're building legitimately and you don't have fly mode. So, let's take a look inside and then we'll take a look at the outside redstone. We'll just take a look at how it all works. So, we're gonna head on up. We're going to open up the switch, and this is the kill room. You take your diamond sword and you chop them all up in here. You can close this lever so they can't shoot fire on the outside. And then you can just keep chopping them up. Chop, chop, chop. You can open it back up. We go in here and flick that lever. And we have fire resistance potion chests reserved. We have brewing things, so if we do not have god mode, we can have fire resist to go in there. Now, we're going to head up to the maintenance section, and this bit of redstone here is not necessary. You only need one half of this. I only did it so it would look symmetrical on the outside. Now, let's go take a look into the maintenance section. Okay, guys, as you can see, we're on top of the blaze farm now, and we have climbed the ladders to get up here. Now, let's hop on in. Right now I do have it on peaceful, so these blazes weren't lagging me a bit. And as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six places for the blazes to spawn. They have a three block room to spawn up, three block room to spawn down, and three blocks out to spawn. So they will not escape. And then this is the max for this exact design. And these little tubes here are seven blocks by seven blocks or eight blocks even, just for the water. So seven across, eight down, seven across, eight down. And the reason we have seven across is so we can fit it in the middle. We scooted this forward a little bit so we would have four block room that way. So it would be even and the water wouldn't flow down into this one. This is where the blazes will end up. And yes, blazes do take damage from water, but if the blaze were to spawn all the way back on this end, it would only get hurt 16 a blaze has 20 health so it will be a one-shot kill with a wooden sword even so we are going to move on to the actual redstone and the redstone isn't really all that much you don't even really need the redstone the redstone is just the doors here so let's head on out and we'll check out the redstone now, as you can see, we have a bit of redstone wiring coming down here, a repeater to hit the top of that and get the bottom part of the door. And then we go inside, and you can see we have the piston there, 
and the redstone is powering that. Now, what we can do is we can hop on in here and we can break this redstone here and it will still be closed. Here we go. Let's go check it out just to prove to you that we only need one half and it still will work just fine. It will still work just fine. Oh, I broke the wrong side. <laughs> Make fun of Logan. He is a noob scrub. Okay. You can break this side. <laughs> you do need the side with the lever on this side so you can close this door back up. Now, you can, now that that door is closed, we should be on the inside, and now it's going to break if we aren't on the inside. Good job, Logan. Now we can open it up from this side, and we can head on out. There we go. So, another thing I will add is you might want to add some redstone, or have something in front of it indicating that someone is in there, because if you're on the inside and someone does this, the door isn't going to open. They're going to have to close this lever. You're going to have to open it. And it's just going to be a pain. You're going to have to fix the redstone. It's going to be annoying. So that was my design for the Blaze Farm. I would like to thank you all for watching. I'd like you to sleep tight and check out the next episode, which will be Cocoa Bean Farms. Thank you all for watching. Sleep tight. Don't let the poppies bite. Goodbye.